Ah! Hey everybody, welcome to The Recoup. I'm Cooper Daniels and I'm a guy that knows a little about a lot. And today we're continuing with the crypto series and we're talking about Algorand. What is it? How does it work? And what is my price prediction for 2021? So let's get into it. First off, let's talk a little bit of history. Algorand was created in 2017 and officially launched in 2019 by a guy named Silvio Macale. Silvio's an Italian man with an Italian accent. Ciao Silvio. Molto bene Silvio. Grande Silvio. So yeah, they call Silvio the godfather of crypto, which is a little racist, but that's okay. And they call him that because he's invented a lot of important things. Examples are zero knowledge proof, you wouldn't have any of those privacy coins like Zcash and Monero. Silvio's been on the faculty at MIT since 1983. He's a Turing Award winner, which is basically the Nobel Prize for computer science. He's a very smart person. You know what I'm saying? So what is Algorand? Well, Algorand is a open source, which means anyone can see it or modify it, decentralized two-layer blockchain network that aims to solve the blockchain trilemma. Okay, what does all that mean? Well, you know what most of that means, decentralized blockchain network, okay, two layers, there's two layers to the blockchain. The blockchain trilemma is a term coined by Vitalik Buterin, who co-created Ethereum. It's basically what it means is that there's three things you want out of a blockchain network. You want decentralization, scalability, and security. And the thought is, is that you, you can't have all three at the same time. If you have two of them, you're gonna compromise on one of them. For example, Bitcoin is decentralized and very secure, but it compromises on the scalability. It's a problem for Bitcoin and it's been a problem for Ethereum. And Ethereum's going through an upgrade right now to try to solve that. But Algorand has already solved that and it's very impressive. Algorand can do over a thousand transactions per second. It is, um, transactions are final within five seconds, which is huge. Bitcoin, you have to wait at least 10 minutes. And then usually, to be really sure, you have to wait two hours. And Algorand has immediate transaction finality. The network never forks. That's why. That's why you can have transaction finality. So two blocks can never be proposed at the same time. And there's always going to be one block that gets finalized and it happens fast. Uh, Algo is the native token of the network. And it's a utility token, much like Ether is to Ethereum. It, um, you know you use it to pay for transaction fees and smart contract computations and all things like that. Algorand is carbon negative, which is a big deal. You've heard all the FUD, fear, uncertainty, doubt surrounding Bitcoin recently and the environmental concerns. Well, Algorand is carbon negative. Guess what, everybody? That's gonna help it become mainstream. So basically what is happening with Algorand is all those things that you've heard about, about how blockchain is going to revolutionize things and it's gonna revolutionize the healthcare industry and it's gonna revolutionize the real estate industry and it's gonna revolutionize currency. Well, literally, Algorand is doing that as we speak. In Bermuda, they're working with um, the healthcare industry for a healthcare stable coin. This is gonna save Bermuda tons of money. And then in real estate, they're, they're active in the real estate industry. They're, you know, you can tokenize real estate, and this is going to eliminate middlemen. They are actually doing the things that we all think blockchain will end up doing. Algorand's out there. They're, literally, they're the first to be the basis of a national digital currency. They are the basis for the uh, Republic of the Marshall Islands. It's a country. Some people are like, dude, is that even a country? And I'm like, I mean, yeah, I think so. I, yeah, the, the Marshall Islands. The Marshall Islands are a bunch of islands that are in between uh, Hawaii and Australia. It has the distinction of being the least visited place in the world. The way they say hello, goodbye, and love is Yakwe. And Yakwe translates to mean you are the rainbow. So you guys are the rainbow. Yakwe. <laughs> what am I talking about? Unfortunately, the Marshall Islands will probably be gone by 2100 because of rising sea levels. Anyways, uh, there's rumors of another country um, about to announce that they're using Algorand for the basis of their, their digital currency. Um, the rumor is Turkey, but who knows? The guy that's gonna head the SEC is also connected with MIT. He's spoken positively about Algorand. Believe me, if they're gonna do a digital currency in the United States, the chances are they use Algorand is huge. It's huge. It, what is my price prediction for 2021? All right. Well, look, there are 10 billion algo that will ever be minted and they've already been minted and there is a system for dispersing them. 
Um, every algo holder gets between five and seven percent. So you just have to own it, unless you're on a on a um, an exchange what that you know jacks your rewards. Everybody that owns algo should be getting rewards, right? There's um, exciting DeFi projects there. There's a new one called Yieldly, which you can do these kind of no risk lottos where you can earn Yieldly and you know just stake your algo. It's just it's just cool, and the and in the community is growing. Um, awareness is growing and it's sitting at about a buck right now. I think it was $1.04 last time I looked. And um, it's been really, even when things are going down, Algo has been showing strength. So I believe people are currently waking up to this. At a dollar, Algo has so much further to run. I say by the end of 2021, you're looking at a price between $3 and $5, easy. And this thing can keep on running. I mean, look, if Bitcoin starts running and the entire market and the bull market continues, I mean, Algorand could be a $5 by the end of 2021, easy. What do you guys think? Am I being conservative? Am I being aggressive? Uh, put it in the comments, let's talk about it. And if you like this video, subscribe. All right, thanks for watching, do your homework.